Thank you, everybody. It's great to be here. And I'm delighted to have the opportunity to talk to you about Amazon Business, which is the B2B marketplace we rolled out this year in the UK in April. And we're really excited about it from a marketplace perspective because it creates the opportunity for our sellers to target a new customer segment that we haven't traditionally focused on as part of our core consumer business. So what I want to do today is talk to you a little bit about our vision for Amazon Business, how we're approaching it, why we're doing it, talk about the customer experience, which is going to be critical to making this a success for you as sellers, and then finally talk about what it means for you as sellers on our marketplace. So on the vision, I wanted to start off by actually going back to our vision overall as a, as a business. So this is Amazon's vision, to be the Earth's most customer-centric company where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. And the way we deliver that day in, day out is by focusing on three things, selection, price, and convenience. So we want to have the world's most extensive selection on our site. We want to have it at competitive prices, and we want to ensure our customers can buy it in the most convenient way, whether that's finding the product, purchasing the product, or getting that product delivered to them. And that's completely consistent with how we're approaching B2B. And the reason we're passionate about that approach is because we've seen the success in our B2C business. So we've now got a very substantial B2C business, which you're very familiar with, with significant growth, and now $136 billion company, most of which is consumer. Uh, and we also have, as part of that, a really thriving marketplace business. Two million sellers worldwide. We have 250 million products on Amazon.co.uk, and that's grown by 100 million products in the last 18 months, enabling us to offer that broad selection, and that's been enabled through our marketplace. And then, if we look at FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, we launched it 10 years ago. Last year, we did 2 billion units worldwide, and more than 50% of the stock in our fulfillment centers is now FBA. So B2B, B, sorry, excuse me, B2C has been very successful as a result of that focus on selection, price, and convenience. And the reason I'm talking about B2C is because it doesn't matter for B2B. And the reason it matters for B2B is because we know that many of our consumer customers are, in fact, business customers. So we know that because we spoke to those customers and we said to them, what are you? So here on the left-hand side of this chart, you can see the results of a survey we ran in which we contacted 16,000 consumer customers who shopped for hand tools and power tools on Amazon.co.uk, and we asked them what kind of customer they were. And more than 50% of them said they were tradesmen. So we know we have a latent base of business customers that are shopping our, our consumer site today. We also know that because our sellers tell, tell us that as well. So we've spoken to lots of sellers as we've been preparing for, launch, for the launch of Amazon Business, and they've been telling us, look, I can see that customers are buying in a way that indicates they're, an am they're a business. So buying batches of 30 to 40 consumer electronics products, asking for VAT invoices. So we have in our consumer business a set of business customers that we can target much more effectively than we have done traditionally. In addition to that, B2Z is important because we hear from procurement managers responsible for purchasing products on behalf of their businesses that they want the flexibility, they want the convenience of shopping online as they see as a consumer. So they want that in their business-to-business -business procurement processes, and they haven't got that at the moment. The other reason we're excited about B2B is because it's a big opportunity. So there are many different forecasts out there. I've put on this slide a couple from, one from Frost and Sullivan on the left-hand side, and some comments from a Forrester report. B2B is going to be huge uh, online. Uh, so Frost and Sullivan forecast is going to be twice as large as the B2C online market by 2020. There are other forecasts out there. What is uh, unanimous across the board is there's a huge growth opportunity for B2B, which is what we like, and that should excite you guys as an opportunity to go and target those customers and, and get a part of that uh, growth. So what is Amazon Business? It, simply put, it's a B2B marketplace, which you can access via Amazon.co forward slash as amazon.co.uk forward slash business, and if you're a registered customer, you're auto-routed to that landing page, that gateway. It's free registration for sellers and customers, and those customers have access to all of the consumer products that we already have on our site, and they have access to business-specific selection, business-specific products that our sellers list just for Amazon business customers. In addition to that, 
It builds on all of our capabilities that we've built over the last 23 years. So things like fulfillment by Amazon are still as relevant for business customers as they are for our consumer customers. And many of the processes that we've built that you're familiar with as existing sellers still are important and operate exactly the same way for Amazon Business. But we've also built a set of additional B2B features and functionality to ensure that we're meeting the specific needs of the business customer. And I'll talk you through some of those as I, as I talk about the customer experience in a few slides time. So we're now live in three marketplaces worldwide. So we launched in the US a couple of years ago. We launched in Germany, tail end of 2016. And as I mentioned at the beginning, we launched in the UK in April this year. And you can imagine that that will continue. We will continue to roll this out. It's a global strategic priority for us. So we will be rolling this out in other marketplaces over time. And we've been pretty encouraged by how it's gone. So in the US, we uh, had a billion dollars of sales in the first 12 months, which is not a bad start. We now have over a million business customers shopping Amazon business in the US. So it's encouraging so far. It's early days for the UK business, but again, we're seeing great results in the sense that we're seeing a broad range of customers shopping our site and a broad range of sellers, in fact, already registered and selling to those business customers. So why are business customers choosing Amazon? To start off with, what, we've, what we're hearing consistently from business customers that we're approaching to recruit onto the, onto the site as customers is that they have spent a significant amount of money on e-procurement solutions, but they're still struggling with frag fragmented spend, a fragmented supplier base. So their employees are going and shopping, or procuring, I should say, across a wi wide range of different suppliers, and they don't have visibility of that spend, and they're worried that their, their employees are not getting competitive prices on the suppliers that they're, that they're procuring from. Amazon Business addresses that by providing these, cu these customers with a broad range of suppliers, two million suppliers worldwide, two million sellers worldwide, across multiple categories with the competition that's encouraged by the marketplace. Related to that point, procurement managers, CPOs, are concerned about rogue spend. So this is employees going off and spending in an uncontrolled fashion across this broad range of suppliers. So what we've put in place as part of the Amazon Business Solution a multi-user account, so you can have up to 10,000 users on an individual Amazon business customer account, and approval workflows to ensure that procurement managers can track, and monitor, and approve spend as their employees go out and procure products on their behalf. And then the last two key call-outs, really, that we hear from business customers are related back to what I, what I, the point I made earlier around the impact of online consumer on B2B spending and procurement. So they want the ability to quickly shop or, or, or search across a broad range of suppliers, have confidence in the products they're buying. And of course, that's something that we've built over many years as part of our consumer business. And they also want the reliability in the fulfillment, in the delivery of those products. And again, we've built that through our FBA business and through the prime proposition that we offer to our consumer customers. So that's why business customers are choosing Amazon. And we're seeing a very, very broad range of customers already shopping the site. So in the US, we have Siemens is one of our big, big customers. We have Stanford University. So we've got manufacturers on the one hand, educational institu institutions on the other. We have very large customers, and we have very small ones as well. So we have a very broad range. They're starting by purchasing uh, the ad hoc products, the tail spend, as procurement managers call it, uh, things like ink inkjet, uh, inkjet cartridges, printer paper, et cetera. But our vision is to ensure that we get all of that spend. We want the strategic spend as well. So that's what we're hearing from customers in terms of the issues that they have, the challenges they have, and why they like Amazon Business. But what I wanted to do is show you a short video from an actual customer who's going to talk about it in a bit more detail. Lippert Components was started in 1959 by Larry Lippert in his garage. They really focused on the mobile home industry uh, until actually the late 90s when we started to get into RVs. We're right around 8,000 employees all around North America. We made our first RV chassis in I think 1997 and since then there's been no looking back. It's been uh, kind of a parabolic trajectory up till last year when I think we were 1.4 billion in sales. 
you're looking for the best price that you can get on an item. So especially when you're ordering 10 or 20 or 100 of them, using Amazon Business has actually made that 100% easier. I know I'm getting a good deal and I don't have to pay shipping charges and I'm getting it fast. It's going to allow us to let the plants procure their own keyboards, their own mice, their own paper, things like that, that there's no value add um, for us to manage and for us to be involved in the purchasing. I have the guys upstairs in the hardware room. They know exactly what it is they need. They can go on the Amazon business, click how many they want, and they just send the order to me. So it saved me literally hours out of my day, every day. Not hearing complaints or questions, that, that means you've probably done something correct. I got a, a website I can log into. I could see what I'm being charged for, when I'm being charged for it, when my payment's due, when they got my payment, available credit limit, everything is just there all on one web page. It's very easy. The invoicing's flowing better and we're able to buy more stuff with them. It's freeing up more time here for us to do uh, ultimately what we're good at and we provide the most value to the business at. So that's, that's what our customers are telling us about Amazon Business. I wanted to talk a little bit about the customer experience. And, and the first step uh, about, of that process is to actually become an Amazon Business customer. It's actually a very simple and free process. The information that a, a company has to provide is pretty simple and straightforward. However, it's a really, really critical step, and particularly for you guys as sellers, because we then verify that data using third-party sources to ensure that the customers we have shopping on Amazon Business are indeed business customers. And that's important if you're going to offer them business-specific products or business-specific prices, as many of the sellers that use Amazon Business in the, in the US and are starting to use it in the UK do. So that's a really important step to ensure we've got the integrity of the marketplace working effectively. From a CX perspective, the gateway, what you see here is the consumer gateway that you'll be familiar with. The Amazon Business Gateway, we've, we've changed to make it more professional. We've changed the layout of the uh, departments so that we prioritized the, uh, those categories that are much more likely to be purchased by business customers. Business customers can still buy all of the consumer selection that is available on our site. And in fact, what, what the biggest change really is when you get to that product detail page. So what you can start to see on this, on this page which is actually a Ryman listing, is first off, if you look at the business price here, we have a business price. That's the first difference. So this is a business price that is only available to business customers. Consumers cannot see it. And what you'll also see just above that business price is an XVAT price. And that's really critical for business customers because we know they can claim out the VAT. What we've also got in this example are quantity discounts. So we've set up the ability for our sellers to offer quantity discounts to business customers because, we, again, we know business customers are going to buy in bulk. And we want to be able to provide them, and sellers want to be able to provide them discounts as they buy more. In addition to that, we've also tiered our fees for Amazon Business. So that the more customers buy, the lower your fees are. Another important feature is the business seller badge. So this indicates that this business seller, Ryman, can provide VAT exclusive pricing, but as importantly, they can provide VAT invoices. This is a critical customer requirement in, Amazon, in business to business. And we've built a system, the VAT calculation service, which enables our sellers to provide those VAT invoices in an automated fashion. Now, the business seller badge is actually not that prominent on this page, but we are working towards a series of tools that will make it much easier for business customers to search for ba Amazon badged sellers, because those customers want to be able to find sellers that are offering that value invoicing service. So watch this space on how that's going to develop. So the product detail page, a number of differences already you can see coming through. And clearly, the, you know, over time, we're going to continue to develop the, the features and functionality of Amazon Business. Going on. Amazon Prime is also an absolutely critical feature for business customers. I mentioned earlier on that fulfillment reliability is a really important customer need for businesses in the same way as it is for consumers. And Prime is still part of the proposition for Amazon Business. Free next day, free next day delivery, same day delivery where we have it is still being offered. Uh, if you have a Prime account and you become an Amazon Business customer, you can extend that Prime account to Amazon Business for free. And if you don't have Prime, you can actually get the Prime benefits if you spend more than £30 on the delivery. 
So from a seller perspective, it reinforces the importance of FBA. It's another channel that can be, will be used uh, for FBA delivery. Final, final few points on, on the customer experience. So I talked about uh, visibility of spend across a whole range of suppliers as being a challenge for customers. I talked about a rogue spend and not being able to see where spend's being uh, made and, and how much spend is being um, made by, by employees. So to address that, we have built a range of new account management tools. So I mentioned the multi-user accounts. T as I said, 10,000 users on a single account. You can build in approval workflows so that if a user spends above a certain limit, that requires sign-off by an administrator. You can also curate as a customer the catalog. So you can identify preferred products and indeed restrict categories that you may not want your employees to shop. And then finally, we spent a lot of time uh, developing e-procurement solutions, partnering with e-procurement providers to ensure that our solution can be used as part of the e-procurement solutions that customers have. So this is really important for larger companies in particular, where they want to be able to shop the catalogs or procure across the catalogs that they have from an e-procurement provider, such as uh, Cooper, but also be able to shop Amazon Business at the same time. And so we've integrated now 64 e-procurement solution providers to enable that. So we've built a whole series of account management tools uh, to enable the, the, an improved customer experience that is specific to business customers. So what does it mean from a seller, seller perspective? Well, as I said right at the beginning, we're excited about this because it means you can target a new set of customers, grow your revenue with a completely new proposition that is different from the consumer proposition that you know and hopefully love. Uh, benefiting from those business-specific features that I talked about, so business-specific pricing, business-specific selection, quantity discounts, VAT invoicing, VAT exclusive prices, and there'll be more features we'll roll out over time, whilst also getting the benefits of our broader e-commerce capabilities that we've developed over the last 20 years. So things like FBA, selling internationally as well. Registration is free, it's very simple. If you've got an account, it's it requires no additional information, uh, so done on that. VAT calculation service, though, is different, and this is a really important point as you think about your s how you sell on Amazon. This is probably the most fundamental difference between Amazon Business and Amazon Consumer in terms of processes and new systems that we've built for our sellers. So this solution enables you to offer VAT exclusive prices on a product detail page. It also automate it automates for free the creation of VAT invoices, and it means that you get the Amazon badge uh, as a seller. It's really, really important because, as I said at the beginning, this is what customers are going to start searching for, and customers really, really want this as part of the business proposition. Setting it up is straightforward. It requires two bits of information. What's your VAT number from where you ship your products, and also what the product tax code is for your products. So, and this is important because it enables us to calculate VAT correctly for the products that you're listing on our site. So for example, baby products require no, have no VAT, uh, solar panels have 5% VAT versus the standard 20% VAT. We need to understand that to make this work effectively. But it's a really, really important system that we've developed and will continue to be something that we uh, develop over time and will become increasingly important for our customers. And we've already got a very wide range of sellers using Amazon Business. Uh, so I showed some screenshots from one of Ryman's listings with a whole bunch of other marketplace sellers who are selling across a wide range of different categories. So Anchor and CCL and Consumer Electronics and PC. We've got consumable sellers like Pure Gusto. And we've been quite surprised and pleasantly surprised by how consumables has actually done, both in the US and already in the UK. We have DJM, which is a tool, tool seller. And we have, a, we have German companies and indeed US companies like Fitnex already selling uh, on our site in the UK. And what we're hearing from sellers <coughs> is that this is unlocking new selection that they have had in their catalogs, but they've not been selling on, uh, Amazon, on Amazon because they've not had the opportunity to create a business-to-business -business proposition. So, key takeaways. Uh, number one, this is a significant opportunity to grow your business. We're excited about it. We're completely committed to this. I was in Seattle last week. It's absolutely one of our global strategic priorities, uh, and we think it creates some great opportunities for you as sellers. It, it builds on all of the capabilities that we have developed over the last 20 years and that you're familiar with. Uh, I haven't gone through all the processes of listing products because they're very, very similar 
between the consumer and the uh, business proposition. But it does include new B2B features which will enhance the proposition for business customers and ensure that they get value out of it and that your, pro your products sell effectively through to that, to that uh, customer segment. And then we're already seeing some great results. So the, f the figures you saw on the US have been very encouraging for us. We've, we've seen that in Germany and we're already starting to see that come through in the UK. And we are, as I said at the beginning, fully committed to making this work with you and we're looking forward to growing this business in the coming months and years in partnership with you as, part as, as key partners uh, for our business. That's it. Thank you.